go there there are two three people falling ill and in this particular chapter we are trying to understand what is the main reason for a spread of disease and the reason is nothing but germs you must have heard of uh, various diseases page number 25 such as typhoid cholera diarrhea gastritis jaundice and conjunctivitis you must have also heard of people having malaria polio diphtheria whooping cough measles or mumps now all whatever i am saying over here is in your textbook on page number 25 these are those diseases which are being caused to us now we are trying to understand on page number 26 that what is the actual cause for the formation of these diseases in our body initially it was believed that all the diseases are caused because of some evil spirits or because of black magic now we are educated and in modern world we know that evil black magic is on one side but diseases is science and it has to be treated properly and that too in time then people used to give treatment also accordingly so you can see on page number 26 second line evil spirits black magic or by the wrath of god that means jaise hum bolte hain hindi mein श्राप दिया है किसी ने सो so, इन कारणों की वजह से डिसीजेस होते हैं ऐसा वो सोचते थे बाय व्हाट बाय इविल स्पिरिट्स ब्लैक मैजिक एंड बाय रॉथ ऑफ गॉड दैट मींस किसी ने उसको बोलते ना उसके ऊपर जल डाना कर दिया या है या फिर ही इज बीन हॉन्टेड बाय समबडी Okay, so they used to have black magic and inhuman methods to overcome these diseases. So, what was the remedy for that? All inhuman methods, all inhuman methods, or by black magic. Okay, now today we know that the main cause. causing the diseases is nothing else but the germs and these germs are now known as micro organisms so students agar koi aapke gaon mein aapke shahar mein aapke city mein aapke village mein agar bimar hai to he is not bimar because of evil spirits or black magic or wrath of the god he should not be treated in inhuman in human methods or by black magic rather he should be treated in a proper format he should be produced towards the doctor and he is been infected by a person known as micro organisms so our first question is to understand what are micro organisms so you can see on page number 26 micro organisms are very very small in size micro means very very small we cannot see micro organisms by the naked eye hence we should use microscope you can see a girl seeing a micro organism using a microscope over there they are living things and they are present in air soil water and bodies of animals so students let us start with our first answer that is micro organisms micro means so sabse pehle hum word ko split karenge micro organisms in this there are two words one is micro and one is organisms so what do you mean by the word micro micro means very very small and organisms means living thing that means it is a very very small living thing micro organism ka matlab kya hua it means a very very small living thing second point we should try to understand the second point the second point tells me that they are present almost everywhere matlab kahan kahan pe honge air soil water 
and in the bodies of animals and the bodies of animals and the third point is we cannot see we cannot see them by our naked eye we have to use a micro scope to see them so i to use a microscope to see the particular microorganisms now some microorganisms can cause diseases they are known as pathogens and some will not be causing any diseases so uh, there are some who are pathogens and some are non pathogenic matlab kya ya to wo disease produce karega disease dega aapko ya to disease nahi dega that is all do not cause diseases so you can see microorganisms ka first paragraph and then the second paragraph is also very important yahan pe aapko malum padega that certain micro organisms can cause diseases and they are known as what they are known as pathogens while or disease producing microorganisms however all micro microorganisms are not pathogenic while some may not while some may not cause diseases and they will be not pathogenic okay so we can see over here a simple answer for short note of microorganisms kaise aaye hum log yahan tak we have to use a course and the course started from this particular point diseases have been happening from ancient times first it was believed ki incubus se hote hain and they used to have all these unwanted things happening but then we understood there are something known as microorganisms humne word ko break kiya micro very very small hai organism matlab living thing hai very very small living thing ka matlab microorganisms ye log sab jagah hote hain air soil water and bodies of animals we cannot see by our naked eye what is naked eye naked eye matlab nangi aankhe you don't wear clothes for your eyes na pant shirt nahi hai na unke liye to isliye wo ho gaye naked eyes ओके okay. अगर उनको देखना है तो आई टू आई टू यूज अ माइक्रोस्कोप टू सी देम सर्टन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स कैन कॉज डिसीजेज दे आर नोन एज पैथोजेंस सम मे नॉट कॉज डिसीजेज दे आर नॉट पैथोजेनिक ओके नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ओवर हियर व्हेन व्हेन मेनी पीपल इन अ प्लेस गेट द सेम डिसीज एट दैट एट दैट सेम टाइम वी से दैट देयर इज एन आउटब्रेक और एन एपिडेमिक ऑफ द डिसीज so now we are trying to understand a word known as epidemic so let us come to the next part that is epidemic so what does epidemic means epidemic means it is a when many people hum definition ko break karte hai when many people in a place get the same a disease at the same time then we say that there is a outbreak or an epidemic of the disease iska matlab 